So I saw this video on YouTube um, called um, Where Are All the White Players in the NBA? And they're just basically doing like a, a report about how like there's like very few white players left. I mean, there's a very small percentage. Um, most of all the players are all black, you know, and um, some foreigners from other countries, but you know, there's not that many white players left, you know, and it's interesting, you know, because they're, they're saying, you know, how it's just all black now, they're wondering where the whites are, and it's almost like a reverse type thing where typically it's like in a corporation, there might be like a bunch of white people working, there's not that many blacks, and they're trying to get more blacks up in there. Or if you look at like um, politics or like the presidency, you know, there's like a bunch of whites and then there's no blacks or just one black. But in the basketball, it's like, you know, they're saying that it's all black, there's barely any whites. Um, and they're wondering why that is. And there's this one guy that's trying to make it to the NBA. You know, supposedly he has he's good at shooting three pointers, but he's only five eleven, and he's trying to make it to the NBA. And they're saying, you know, you know, why is it so hard for him to make it? But it's like he can't be that. He's not that good. It's not that because of his skin color. He just isn't as that good. He's basically they're saying, why aren't there that that many white people in the NBA? Well, the bottom line was because they're just not athletic enough. They're not as athletic as the blacks, or whatever the case may be. And um, they're just basing it based on performance. And a lot of the white guys couldn't, they can't handle um, that, you know, the athleticism of a lot of these blacks. That's what their conclusion was. You know, and um, I mean, they're just basing it off on performance. It's not about, like, race. You know, and for that specific sport, um, genetically, for those blacks, they, they have a huge advantage. And it's not even about race anymore. You know, and, you know, the whites might be complaining about it, but hey, you know, there's no, like, like, absolutely, like, almost no Asian people in the NBA, so, now the whites might know, may they might get the feeling of how Asians feel. Hey, there's like no Asians in the NBA. There's a lot more whites than there are Asians. It just happens to be dominated by the blacks. So that's their thing. I mean, that's their genetics have gave them like these these um, abilities to be dominating that sport. You know, it's just that their body types and the way their bodies are built. They're able to perform at a high level that a lot of Asians and whites have a very hard time um, achieving based on that specific sport. But say we stepped into the realm of something else like basketball, or not basketball, I mean like gymnastics, the, the blacks can't, they can't do that. Their, bo you know, their, their body types are not built for that, so you don't see a lot of black gymnasts that are really good at a high level. Like when was the last time, you know, I mean, it's not even about the race, but it's just like the body type, you know, and, and really this guy that's white, he's 5'11", that's still not tall enough. That's not tall, that's like, you're not even six feet, you know, and if you're gonna wanna make it to the NBA, you're gonna have to be very, gifted and skilled and talented extremely skilled and talented to make it to the NBA at, a sh at you know being short like somebody like Allen Iverson or something you know so it's not even about race anymore it's about um, your performance when it comes to the basketball and all the sports to begin with you know and that's just that's the reality of it